Hello and welcome to another tutorial from OICT. Uh, in this one, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to generate automated subtitles for any videos you want using Python. Uh, to get started on this one, first you will need to install this pip package called OpenAI Whisper. So this package allows us to create a transcription, English transcription for any video. You can also use it to translate the language as well. So if you have a video that's in a different language and you want to create or generate subtitles in English, you can also do that. So this is the uh, PIP package website and you can pretty much scroll down and see exactly how everything is laid out. What kind of dependencies do you need? Uh, you might also need the package called FFMPEG. Uh, that's also required to read the video files or if you wanted to split the video and audio files as well. Okay, uh, they do support a large uh, array of different languages. So you can take a look at how, what kind of stuff they actually support. And using the package is actually quite easy. Let me just show you the code that I've been using to generate subtitles for my videos. So at the moment, this is literally the code that I'm using. So I'm using the, uh, first I'm just importing Whisper. From whisper utilities um, import the get writer function then load the model i'm using the base model here so if you go to the website you can see the different models that they use All right so you have a uh, base tiny base small medium large i'm using the base one uh, because i had some of the videos that were quite large um, quite long so i wanted to make sure that i get as accurate subtitle as possible uh, for the audio file, I'm simply passing in the MP4 file that I have, and I'll play that for you in a minute. Uh, for the result, I'm basically saving the transcription of the audio file, and I'm disabling the F, uh, FP16. So my CPU doesn't support FP16, so I'm just, just disabling that, so it runs the FP32 mode instead. And then on the, I'm setting up the output directory here. Now um, I need to save the files as a VTT file because that's that was one of the requirements for Udemy when I released my new course on there that they didn't accept um, SRT files. But uh, if you need to say generate SRT files for your videos, you can also just change the VTT to SRT and it will generate SRT files as well. Okay, so let's stick to the VTT one for now. So it's just basically running the get writer function, file type, and the output directory. Okay, basically we're just running this to transcribe the audio file and save the results. Okay, so before we run this one, let me just show you the video. So this video is from my um, Quizmaker app development course uh, that I've recently released on Udemy. So if I just play this one, this is the assignment video, I believe. Hello, and application. So right now the one saved on the computer. So this assignment is designed to challenge you in a way where you can take an existing program and add four functionalities to the program to enhance its usability in the long run. Uh, let me just show you. So as you can see, there's no subtitles on the video currently. So I just need to um, add a subtitle so I can add more accessibility to the course. So uh, what I just need to do here right now is I'm just going to run this one. Okay, just press run. Now, depending on the size of the video, uh, your uh, the time it's going to take to transcribe the entire project might take a while, but this is only a three minute video, so it shouldn't take that long. Right now, the subtitle has been generated. As you can see, there's a .vtt file on here. So if I click on that, you can see that he has transcribed or uh, transcribed the whole video with the timestamps on there. Uh, now, mind you that um, the transcription for the videos are not 100% all the time, so you might still need to edit the files a little bit. I find it a lot easier to simply edit the files rather than generating the files myself. Okay, so let's play the video again and let's see the results of the subtitle. Hello and welcome to this assignment. So, one of the issues you can see here it says hello and welcome to this assignment. It says O oh, instead of four, right? So, these are minor. Um, for your Excess. quiz maker app development course which is given when I click apply it gets applied to the image here okay so imagine I want to use this image here to the quiz right now so I have the link for the image right there okay 
and then I want to add that to the program. I'll go to add image. I can paste the link into the text box here and click apply. Right. And if I save this quiz with a random question, let me just go create and check the quiz here. It gets saved onto my uh, location as the image the files here are local. This would uh, and had your own features and functions that to apply it to your own project. Okay, I think the subtitle results are really good. And with this um, small minor tweaks, I can pretty much use this uh, subtitle file for my video. Uh, so I really hope uh, you found this one useful and you can generate your own subtitle for your videos. And, you know, it helps you in some way. Uh, the link to my new course is in the description here. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like and a subscribe to the channel. And I will see you on the next one.